Weeks. I'm Dan Jack, Brooklyn, Kentucky Anna Fly Tires. Uh, tonight I'm going to tie a sort of a generic uh, dry fly, a parachute dry fly. This was developed by Al and Gretchen Beatty, uh, fairly famous fly tires. Everyone's probably heard of them. They call this fly a dirty bird. Uh, I found it in a magazine. I was surprised that they would call it that. Most folks realize that a dirty bird is a, it looks like a tiny sparrow. I mean, it, it's a boo-faced streamer type fly with a piece of rubber on the front. Uh, so I chose not to call this a dirty bird. I'm just going to call it the Beatty's dry fly. Uh, they tie it in um, seven or eight different styles uh, of body. The I'm tying it tonight with the peacock body. They tie it with uh, like this. This uh, this is their favorite, but they also tie it with uh, gray bodies and uh, green bodies, a green wool body, um, and tan and uh, even yellow. But uh, this everybody knows that the fish like uh, the peacock. It's tied on just a standard dry fly hook. Uh, you can tie it from size. 10 to 24. I basically use just 12s and 16s. So we're going to tie 12 tonight because it's going to show up real well. Uh, tie 16s. I probably could tie it to 20. I don't do many 24s. Maybe anything too old to tie it on anyway. And, uh, it, uh, it's not a very hard fly, other than the fact, of course, that it is a, a parachute, and some folks have a little trouble with that, but we'll show how easy that is too. Starting, I said, with a size 12. This is just like a 94, 84 standard dry fly. We've got uh, size 140 chartreuse thread. I'm going to start right behind the eye and chase it all the way down the shank. Stopping, of course, to cut off my tag again. A little different in that I'm going to carry it actually past the curve on the shank and tie it in like a tag on the back of the fly. And I come back over, go over the fly again, go over the shank again, take it back to the front until it's about two eye lengths maybe behind the eye. We're going to tie in the parachute post. This is McFlylon, white McFlylon, which is just a polypropylene yarn uh, that has actually been, has a waterproofing on it that helps it float a little better than just standard polypropylene. It has all the same qualities as just polypropylene. I'm going to tie it in on top of the shank and then tie it in maybe three times and put my thread on top of it. Other. Then I'm going to pull the two sides of it together and tie it around the base. I find it's easiest. I hold it between my pointer finger and my thumb, use my ring finger, just catch and go around the base just a little bit. Stop the thread on my side. And now, as most people realize, the hard part trying a parachute for most people is we're going to have to wind something up the shank, up, up the shank of that uh, polypropylene of the, of the wing. In order to facilitate that, I'm going to use fly head cement. Let's put it dead on the face, both, on both sides of the yarn, just enough to soak it into the base. Now that's starting to harden while I put the lid back on my jar. <clears throat> now I'm going to grab a hold of it just like I did before, hold them together. I'm going to walk, start winding the thread up the post. But you don't have to go very far. It's only going to go. I don't have the right line. I can't see it. You can probably see it better than I can. And 
and I'm going to take it back down. shank. Leave my thread on the offside. Now you can see I made a little post out of it. Uh, next I'm going to use just Grizzly Hackle. It's a size 12 Grizzly Hackle. I clean barbules off the bottom of it. Okay, now I've tied the end by the tip. Pull it back so that it's just. I am tying it against the side of the hook the first couple of revolutions. And now I'm going to again go back up my post and tie the grizzly hackle to the post. be in the way but it's the easiest time to put that on there. I'm going to take my thread back to the end of the shank. I'm going to tie on a peacock curl. Even the tips. Up to the base of the post, and I've got a little bit of bulk to the body. Now, I'm taking the thread back to the back of the fly. I'm going to wind the peacock up the shank, and I'm winding it toward me so that I can counterwind the thread. I go forward. So I'll just at this point we need to be sure we have our hackle pliers close. small. I'm going to wind it up the body. The chartreuse thread is going to segment the body. I'm going to take it all the way to the front. Set the tire off my peacock curl. I'm going to finish with the thread on the opposite side of the fly, right in front of the wing or right in front of the post. And this is when the glue on the post really helps. This is when most people have trouble winding. I'll try to wind that down. I'm going to stop with it on the opposite side. station of that really too.
first I'm just going to tie off the hackle. I'm wrapping it around the, the base, going around the side of it, raising it just enough to clear the hook in the front and on the side, and then back over the bottom, the back of the hook. I'm going to do this a couple of times. If we keep it down on the side, we won't catch too many of the hackle under the thread. And I'm going to finish it with the Mattarelli tool, treating it exactly the same way. And around the post. At this point, we can cut off our thread. off our hackle. Look at it. We did catch any of the feather barbules and they're sticking down. We'll cut them off just so that the fly will sit flat on the surface. Top of it. Again, we're going to finish. Just like we do with any other fly, we're going to put a dab the glue on our quick finish on both sides. And we're going to put a dab of glue right at the joint of the post in the parachute. This makes the fly much more durable. And there's what I call the baby dry fly. It's generic, uh, although it can be tied in many different colors, uh, or whatever is best for you in your area. Not an especially hard to tie. If you remember to put that glue on that post, it just makes all the difference in oral. At least it does to me. Again, I'm excited about making fishing. Uh, come and see us at Kentucky Anna Fly Tires every second Thursday of every month at the Orbit store in the paddock shop. Uh, we'll be there at six o'clock. Uh, we or a guest tire will be teaching a fly every month and everyone's invited. Thank you. Thank you.